And that's a wrap. Living in Brazil sure paid off on your dance moves. I hope so, because I'm entering that dance contest at Club Mambo. Awesome! You have to let me pick out a styling dress. And I insist on doing your makeup. Cool. People, you are looking at the next winner of the Club Mambo Dance Contest. So, what do you think? Cool, Sasha. You're entering too? Two. Isn't it great? You and Fiona are going to rule the contest. Hey, ladies. What's up? Whoa, who do we have here? You know Fiona. Down, Dylan. You've met Fiona before. I'll do better than that. I'll break it down. Whoa! Well, you definitely broke something. Are you crazy, Dylan? You almost hit Fiona. That light could have crushed her legs and crippled her for life. Sorry. I can do better. Want to see? No, no Dylan! Dylan! Face it, bro. You crashed and burned. Dude, I am in a major slump with the ladies. I just can't seem to connect. What am I doing wrong? Dylan, man, maybe you need to think like a girl. Ow! Byron Powell's gonna be the celebrity judge at the dance contest. Hey, Cool Cat, wanna come to the mall and help me pick out something super style and blow him away? Sure, I'm supposed to meet Fiona there. We can all go together. Uh, pass. I do not shop with a competition. Angel, you do my makeup for the show, right? Of course, Bunny Boo, I'd love to. Scorching. Fiona would just have to find someone else. Uh, well, I kind of already offered. Hey, but there's no reason I can't do both of you, right? Right. And Yasmin, what are you doing for Fiona? <laughs> Nothing I wouldn't do for you. Uh-huh. Got it. Excuse me. I was wondering if you could help me. Oh, yeah, sure. Just a sec. I... Whoa. Ugh. Hey, you're kind of cute. Up for some pizza? Extra cheese? Pepperoni? Anchovies on the top? Uh, maybe some other time. Nice to meet you. Later. <laughs> Dude, chill. It's me, your best bud, Dylan. Dylan? Man, what are you doing? Have you totally lost it? Hey, you're the one who gave me the idea. I have to think like a girl. Oh, man, you got some serious issues. Cameron! Hey, Cameron! Hey, guys! Who's that? Oh, that's just, that's Delilah. That, that's Dylan's very shy country cousin. Hey, Delilah, I'm Fiona. Hello. <clears throat> Hello. Dylan told me you were beautiful. Huh? Where is Dylan? Uh, well, he's, he's around here somewhere. What's up? We're helping Fiona find a super styling outfit for the Club Mambo Dance Contest. Oh, I just love to dance. Then you should definitely enter the contest. You really think so? Totally. Okay, I'll do it. That is, if you'll show me some moves. Yeah, no problem. It'll be fun. Chloe can give you makeup ideas, and you can go through some of our latest Bratz magazines. Somebody pinch me! Later, guys. Man, you are not gonna enter that contest, are you? What better way to find out what kind of guys Fiona's into? And my guess would be the kind who don't wear dresses. <laughs> Let's go. We've got to give Mia makeover. An extreme one. Are you sure this isn't gonna hurt? Positive. It looks nasty. Dude, look, waxing your legs was your idea. So just lie down and take it like a man. Or whatever. And relax. Hey. That feels pretty good. Warm and kind of soothing. Ow! Oh! Oh! Ow! Ah! Hey! Dude, you're killing me! I'm dying here! I hate to admit it, but you look like a girl. Oh, I bet you say that to all the boys. 
Like, who's the klutz? Uh, yeah. I'm Delilah, Dylan's cousin. Oh, let go, let go! Like, where are you from, anyway? Some place where they have tractor-throwing contests? Well, uh, yes, as a matter of fact. Hey, I bet you weigh about as much as a tractor. Get away Let's from see. me, you, you, like, freakazoid! You, you are absolutely, positively the most natural, down-to-earth beauty I've ever seen. <gasps> Casey, it's Byron Powell, the celebrity judge for the Mambo Dance Contest. <laughs> your friends do a remarkable rendition of Squealing Pigs, and your name is... De... <clears throat> I mean, Delilah. Delilah's gonna be entering the dance contest you're judging. You're a dancer? That's absolutely, positively fantastic. My record company's always looking for new dancers for our music videos. We simply must do lunch and talk. I'm flattered, but I'm with Cameron, and... He can come along. Ha, thanks, but no thanks. I know when I'm a third wheel. Don't you leave me! Bon appetit, Delilah. Splendid, shall we? Like, what does she have that we don't have? Like, nothing. We're gonna enter the dance contest and win. Then Byron will put us in his music videos. Yeah! yeah. Delilah, has anyone ever told you you have star quality written all over you? Have you studied dance professionally? Whoa, check out that babe's, um, shoes. Gee, I wonder where she got them. More shoes. Whoops, <laughs> silly me, drop my napkin. Allow me. Oh no, let me. Excuse me, I'll be right back. And could you order me a mega triple burger? Everything on it with peanut brittle, frog legs, wontons, and extra cheese. Good grief, is that possible? Let me check the menu. Oh. <laughs> Fiona, what a coincidence. <clears throat> I can't believe you're having lunch with Byron Powell. He is so cute. I mean, for an old guy. Well, yeah. I guess if you like that cold, aloof English look. Hey, what is your type? I like someone who is romantic. You know, into poetry and walks along the beach and stuff. I don't care what a guy looks like. My turn, but... Hey, lady! Oops. Ah! Oops, forgot to knock. Dylan, I didn't know you worked here. Oh yeah, when I'm not taking walks on the beach, management hired me to come up with poetic descriptions of the entrees, check it. Filet mignon served with potatoes au gratin. If it makes you vomit, it's because the meat was rotten. <laughs> nice. At least it rhymed. Uh-oh. Byron's beginning to lose it. Cool! My mega triple burger is here. I must say, it's quite refreshing to see a girl who's not afraid to attack her food with gusto. Uh. Think getting all muscly like Delilah will help us win the dance contest? Byron's obviously like into girls who look like weightlifters with no brains. Oh, ooh, look, the bicep blaster. I wonder if that muscle it works. Let's see, half blast, <gasps> full blast. Bunny Boo, that was off the hook. Well, forget what you saw. No way am I giving the competition a leg up. We're not the competition. Oh yeah? I haven't even seen you guys in 24 because you've been spending all your time with Fiona. Hey, we offered you equal time. You're the one who's been blowing us off. Oh, so now all this is my fault? Oh, what? You're making a mountain out of a pebble. Oh, right. My BFFs are styling my number one competitor and I'm overreacting? Yes. yes. Later.
for lunch, Byron. Bye now. I'll see you at the contest. me. It must have been the triple burger. You wouldn't believe how hard it was to keep that in during lunch. What we go through for guys. That's what's so great about Dylan. He really appreciates how hard it is to be a girl. He does? I mean, no offense, but he strikes me as kind of insensitive. Insensitive? I... I mean, he'd cry if he heard you say that. But in a manly man way. Hmm. I should have said goodbye to him, then. I don't want to hurt his feelings. Be back in a sec. Wait! Don't! Fiona, I'll get him! <laughs> Yo, Fiona! Um, your earrings. Yeah. Uh, they were killing Delilah's ears, so I, um, volunteered to hang them on my ears. I mean, hang on to them. I didn't want to put them in my pocket in case I broke them. Really? Oh, that's so sweet. A little weird, but sweet. Where is Delilah anyway? I want to ask her about the dance contest. I'll go find her. Dylan, wait! <laughs> Fiona! Dylan said you were looking for me? Yeah, I was thinking we could go to the contest together. Cool! Oh, and hey, invite Dylan along too. Oh, yeah, a good idea. Bad idea. You gotta loosen up. Try to feel the music. Oh! Oops! I got him. You know, Dylan has some really hot break dancing moves. They'd really work with your music. Too bad he's not here to show you. Oh, dude, not again. That reminds me. I gotta go somewhere. I'm out of here. Don't you want to go to the contest with us? I don't think so. At this point, I'm used to doing it alone. Later. What's with her? Hey, ladies, check it. The deal man is back to break it down. Where's Delilah? She's the one that needs to see this. I'll go get Delilah. <laughs> Looking for me? Yeah, we want Dylan to show you his break dancing. Where'd he go? I have no clue. He took off. Uh, I think I know where he is. <laughs> what was that? A mouse! Dylan, what's up with your voice? Oh, sorry. I, um, swallowed some helium. Dylan, now you're here, but where's Delilah? She's headed over to the club. But we were supposed to go together. Oh, well, she had to run some errands first. I guess we should just go without her. Okay, let's do it. Come on, Dylan. And make sure you mention Your Thing magazine at least ten times in your acceptance speech. Okay, let's go to the club and win that stupid dance contest. Come on. Chop, chop. Ooh. Ow. Ooh. Fiona, I just wanted to wish you good luck. Thanks, Dylan. That's so sweet of you. I'm wearing her down. Oh, have you seen Delilah? She got stage fright and backed out. Oh, no. She worked so hard for this. You've got to get her back. Please, for me. I'll see what I can do. Please tell me you're not entering. This is a dance contest, you know, not a circus for geriatric shrews. Of course I'm not entering, you insufferable windbag. And I am hardly a geriatric at 25. Good luck, Sasha. You're gonna blow the place out with your style and moves. How do you know? Because I've seen you dance. You're awesome. Oh, um... <laughs> Thanks, Fiona. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for round one. 
Please welcome our first contestant, Sasha! Good luck to you two. Go, Sasha! You can do it! Absolutely, positively unique and idiosyncratic interpretation. <laughs> Our next contestant is Fiona. You idiots! Chop chop! We can't move! Oh, spare me your pathetic excuses! Stand corrected. That is absolutely positively the worst robot I've ever seen. <laughs> <sighs> it's time for our final round. Give it up once again for Delilah. again. Oh, thanks guys. And thanks for all your help. Wow! Check this place out. Congratulations, Fiona. You ruled. Thanks, Sasha. You were pretty amazing yourself. Duh. But next year, you're not going to stand a chance. So you're not mad, Bunny Boo? <laughs> yeah, I'm mad all right. At myself. You guys were there for me, but I pushed you away. Forgive me? Totally! <laughs> How about me? Dylan, what were you thinking? And what were you wearing? Well, I was thinking that if I got to know you as a girl, I could find out what you like in a guy. That is the dumbest and most manipulative thing I've ever heard. It's also the sweetest. Okay, I, I know it was dumb, but I think you're really hot and... the sweetest? Yeah. It's not every guy who'll make a total fool of himself in front of a live audience for you. Then you'll go out with me? Uh, yeah. But it's got to be this weekend. I'm going back to Brazil on Monday. Off the hook, deal man. What? You're splitting? After all I went through? The leg waxing, tight clothes, and trying to dance in high heels and... So the deal man went through torture for just one date. And the reward? The girls made me write an article about my walk on the feminine side. Check it in this month's rockin' issue of Bratz Magazine. Dude Undercover, My Life as a Girl. Uh, moving along, people. We have a magazine deadline. What you got for next month's cover story, Yasmin? We're doing a spread on the Wild Time Wilderness Spa. Ooh, a spa! Ooh, wilderness! Hot mineral springs, all natural skin treatments, organic manicures. It's where all the celebrities go. 
How do you think London Milton looks so good? I am so there. There is a catch. It's a wilderness spa. That means it's in... The wilderness. Right. And I don't want civilization intruding on their serenity. No radios, TVs, or any other form of communication with the outside world. What? Are they insane? How are we supposed to survive without any tunes, without our favorite shows, without even instant messaging? Come on, Chloe, it'll be fun roughing it. I don't think so. So who's in? Uh, does the spa have bathrooms? Totally. I'm in. Yay! Yay! And I know just what to wear. Yeah, all the way up the mountain to the spa. No radios. We've got to, like, spy on them and take their pictures without any makeup and their hair all unblow dried <gasps> Yeah, then we can publish them in your thing and show the whole world how terrible they look and, and ruin their, their reputations. Yeah? Yeah. May I help you with something? Um, yeah. So, like, where is this wilderness spa you're going to? We need to know so we... Ow! So we can tell our readers where not to go. It's as far away from you two as possible. So, like, what country is the farthest away from us? What's taking so Come long? Come on, Chloe, move it! Be right there. She said that 40 minutes ago. Run! Ooh. All packed! Let's hit it. Chloe, I know you have baggage, but this is ridiculous. It's all nature stuff. <laughs> Yasmin, you told me what to bring. Supplies for a third world country? Yeah, Chloe, we each brought a single backpack. Your paraphernalia screams amateur. Please, I can totally rough it. Chloe, you may rock at fashion and shopping, but a camper you are not. Dinner and a movie says you don't last five minutes in the great outdoors. How about something more creative? If I win, you have to carry me all the way around the high school track. <laughs> and if I, I mean, when I win? I'll carry you. Whatever. Now lose the suitcases, Angel. I want to be soaking in a hot tub by sunset. Where to? That way. So, um, where's the elevator? Ah, uh, my new top! I didn't think the forest would be quite so branchy. Bunny Boo, are we almost there yet? Um, just a little bit more. Do you think we'll come to any good bungee spots? I brought cords. Cool cat, bungee jumping could permanently damage natural vegetation. See those? They provide a habitat and nourishment for the striped fire-tongued dog snake. It's an endangered species and... Oh, 911 fashion emergency! We gotta get to a shoe repair shop fast! A shoe repair shop? Uh, okay, we'll just call 1-800-Chloe's-Gone-Bananas. I can't believe we can't, like, snoop through their stuff! Now we're never gonna find out where they went. Hey, I bet Cameron and Dylan know. Wait, what if we, like, tricked them? Tell them a really scary story so they'll go after them. <laughs> Ow! You had a fly in your do. See? Ugh, these bugs are eating me alive. I hope there aren't any insects at the spa. Sasha, are we almost there yet? Oh, I don't get it. My hiking device indicated a shortcut. Your device is bogus. We're supposed to be getting foot massages and munching organic popcorn by now. Ugh, if you're so hungry, then Martha stood up a sandwich or something. Hello? No one told me to bring food. Excuse me? I specifically said bring grub. I did. The grubbiest sweatpants I could find. Last year's. Chloe, grub is camper speak for food? Uh, how was I supposed to know that? This hike to the spa was only supposed to be three hours long. At least get out the water, Chloe. Um, you did pack the water, didn't you? Yes, I totally packed the water. Phew. You had me worried for a second, but then I kind of unpacked it. You, you what? what? I needed more room for accessories. Chloe! <laughs> Chloe actually went hiking in Wild State Park? <laughs> Dude, tell me about it. She is never gonna make it in the wilderness. 
Well, well, imagine, like, running into you guys here. Yeah, what are the chances? Considering this is where I live. Like, why are you still here when your little friends are in such life-threatening danger? What are you babbling about? There's a vicious bear loose in Wild State Park, and it's already eaten, like, three people. So, like, your loser friends are about to be Bratz Kebabs. Chomp, chomp! Oh, no! We have to save the girls! <laughs> Can you believe they, like, fell for it? Here, Chloe, have some fresh mountain water. But I only drink bottled water. It's fine, trust me. <laughs> Ew! I just swallowed something and it was moving! Chill. Think of it as minnow sushi. Double ew! Look what I found! <gasps> it's only a garter snake. Hey, Jade, you like snakes, don't you? I do. I like snakes at the zoo, behind a nice thick plate of bulletproof glass. But look at these beautiful colors and see how friendly he is. Thanks, I've already got friends. Hey, Chloe! Chloe? Oh, hi there. Get it away before it bites me and my arm swells up and turns black and blue and... You're not afraid of this little guy, are you? Garter snakes aren't poisonous, they're harmless. Enjoy your reptile. I'm going to the bathroom. There are bathrooms here? Oh, lots of them? Like the one you're standing next to? <laughs> you're going to pee in nature? and welcome to our unscheduled interruption. We have breaking news tonight. A grizzly bear has been spotted in Wild State Park. The bear is presumed dangerous, even deadly. Stay out of Wild State Park. Ah! Ah! Bad news, people. Man-eating grizzly bear on the loose. Vicious and deadly. Arm yourselves. What are you going to do, pluck and crimp it to death? First, I gave up my entire weekend to spend it in a mud hole under the boiling sun in the woods. It's a spa. Then, Sasha totally punks us by getting us beyond lost. Oh, my navigating equipment was subpar. And then, Jade guilts me into swallowing a predator fish that's been living in polluted waters and could be carrying a deadly virus so that I could have contracted some horrible fin and mouth disease. You mean I saved us from dehydration. And now we're going to be chewed up and swallowed by a grizzly bear? This is a natural selection of the worst kind! Um, Sasha, Jade, how did you find out about the bear? Um... um excuse me? Radio? Television? I can't believe it! You guys broke the rules! We weren't supposed to bring any electronics! It was the season finale of Extreme Fashion Makeovers! I needed my RDA of hip-hop! I don't care! That reeks! At least Yasmin's right about something. We had a deal. You guys agreed to... <laughs> a cell phone is a vital piece of emergency equipment, and I'll have you know that a bear on the loose definitely qualifies as an emergency. Uh-oh. The beeping was telling me that the battery's dead. What now? We pack up as fast as we can and get out of here. No way. We'll never get down the mountain before dark. We'll have to wait it out until morning. Until morning? What will we eat? Where will we sleep? How will we survive? Ladies, there's only one thing to do. No, please don't say it. It's time to set up camp. Ah! Uh... to match nature. We Way to go! Chloe. Time to catch us some grub. We got the blue sky, blue sky, sunshine. Uh, uh, get away, time to play. Everybody say it. Yeah. Good time, good time. Outside, uh, uh, at the campground. Hanging out, getting out from the city. Blue sky, blue sky, all right. Uh, uh, living out those ready for one fun celebration. Uh, nighttime, nighttime, starlight. Uh, now we're rubbing it, loving it. All my girls on vacation. all 
the other ones down so they'll all be even. Never mind, it took me a month to get them all just the perfect height, and why does everything always happen to me, and... What? Chloe, that fish was gonna be our dinner. That fish? Ugh. Let's start a fire now so I have light when it gets dark. That smell. Mmm, that's the smell of a man in touch with nature. Yeah, you should be in touch with a better diet. Chloe, Yasmin, Jane, Sasha. Hey, I think that's a shortcut up to the trail. Wait, Dylan, stop. What? You're standing in poison ivy. Tongue dog snakes are natural enemies. I wish I'd said that. I found a few acorns, girls. Stew for dinner. Chloe, where's the pan you were supposed to bring? Right here. What's that? It's to cook in. It's what I use at home. You can't put that on a fire. your poison ivy we're totally lost i think we're stuck here for the night <sighs> might as well make the best of it did you bring eats no <sighs> matches no sleeping bag no dude you were not sharing mine <laughs> fine then you're not sleeping in my tent uh, ow shh i didn't say anything i said shh the boys are stopping for the night get our supplies you were gonna bring the supplies. No, you! You! Twice as many times as you say you! No! <laughs> you! You! Stop scratching, you're gonna make it worse. <sighs> what are you? My grandmother? I said quit it! Uh, that wasn't me, dude. Huh. Good thing we brought the big tent. Ah! The bear is back! Death, destruction, bite marks! That was actually my stomach. Oh, could this be any worse? All your fault for not packing a tent. Well, at least I was smart enough to bring an umbrella, you bonehead. Like we could sleep in that. Oh, <gasps> you dork! Open it. This looks so much better. And I'm freezing, and I'm hungry, and I'm dirty, and my skin needs to be exfoliated, and I have to go to the bathroom. Then go. A 
I don't do nature, and B, I don't want to be a snack for a bear! I don't suppose that was someone's stomach? No! There's no point trying to sleep in this. You might as well just keep looking for the girls. Oh, man. for. Chloe? My special honey and oatmeal-based facial mask. I mean, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to know that bears like honey. Cool Good thing. Awesome. Awesome. Chloe. Wow. I won my bet with Cameron. Poor guy couldn't lift his arms for a week after carrying me around the high school track. And our camping adventure made for a radical article in next month's issue. Roughing it in style. Not. Okay, so we took some journalistic license. But at least we now know that the saying is true. You can catch more bears with honey than vinegar. Or something like that. Everybody now. 